Hi everyone. Welcome back to Sun Arts. If you're new, welcome to the family. Today's DIYs are all relaxing summer beach themed DIYs. So let's move on to DIY number 1. For this one, I'm going to use this wooden log that was lying in my garage from a long time and I'm going to make something beautiful out of this. So I'm just taking this pastel blue and I'm just taking generous amount and I'm pouring on the wood directly and then this wood is just drinking up all the paint and I just like went um, you know couple of coats and this is how it looks after it is being coated and I'm gonna let it dry while that is drying I'm gonna take this uh, relax uh, galvanized letters from another sign and this is also from Dollar Tree and I'm going to attach this sign on top of this painted wooden block and this uh, is ready to be stuck so now I'm taking like a couple of uh, drops of um, a hot glue and I'm sticking it against this painted wooden block and I'm pressing it against nicely and I'm going to take this one of this uh, seaweed which is white in color and I'm going to attach that on either side before that I wanted to you know stick with this uh, cotton twine and I'm taking a couple of dots of um, hot glue and I'm trying to attach it all around this relaxed sign just like so I stuck this uh, cotton twine I'm going to take uh, small pieces of this uh, white seaweed and I'm going to you know you know bring it all together and I'm going to take a dab of a hot glue and I'm going to stick it in one corner of course I need to use my you know handy dandy finger protector for this because the glue is like a lot there and I have to stick it uh, against this wooden sign so I'm also going to stick it some on the top so it doesn't pop out now I want to embellish the sign with some more shells so I got this uh, shell basket from Dollar Tree and I just took a couple of them and I just stuck it on uh, actually around the relax sign one on the top actually two on the top and uh, you know seaweed on either side and this is the final reveal of my relaxed beach themed sign and i'm so happy how this turned out and i also distressed that uh, painted wooden sign on some corners to just give like a nice aged look there so i'm happy about this whole uh, look and you have to let me know what your thoughts are this video would be part of hello summer themed diys and this is hosted by tammy over the rusted willow and ellie over the diy from house to home and the guest host would be cj over cj diys so i'm going to leave the links of all these creative ladies in my description box as well as the huge playlist that you're going to get a lot of ideas for decorating your home for this summer so now it's time to move on to DIY number two. For this DIY, I'm going to take uh, one of this uh, glass bowl. It's actually a fish bowl, a small one. And I'm just going to fill this with this sand that I got from Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just pouring the sand in the bowl just like so. And I'm also taking some of these uh, sea shells. And that's kind of tongue twisting. <laughs> So I'm just going to fill the shells and these are all from Dollar Tree also. I'm carefully arranging all those shells in an organized pattern. Some are like facing down and some I'm going to face up. And I'm going to put some sea jewels uh, like pearls and some uh, one of the bracelet broke of mine. So I'm just also going to pour those crystals on top of it. And I got pearls in three colors. One is like light yellow, some pink one and some white ones. And I'm just scattering all over the bowl and this calls it done. And I'm actually not going to overdo it and this turned out really pretty. And this was according to what I was actually imagining in my mind of to create a beach in a bowl uh, with a lot of shells. So you're going to see the end result. So 
this is the final reveal you guys i'm so happy how this turned out look at those cute jewels that uh, shells is carrying and some uh, cute shells on the floor of uh, sand and i'm so happy how this turned out i hope you would also see the same way i am seeing it so you have to let me know what your thoughts are On to DIY number three. For this one, I'm going to repurpose one of this uh, juice bottle and also I'm going to use one of this fruit mesh and I'm going to create something beautiful beach decor. So I'm just taking the same pastel blue and I'm just generously painting all over it and I wanted to give like nice two coats to get like nice coverage. I'm going to let it dry. After it is dried, I'm going to you know insert this fruit mesh and i'm going to distress that as well before that i wanted to uh, you know attach some um, cotton twine around the mouth of the jar and i'm also taking dab of a hot glue and i'm sticking that around you know the mouth of the jar just like so so i tried doing like cotton twine in the base of the jar so i went with uh, i didn't like the look of it but i went with one of this rope so I'm just taking one strand of the rope and I measured all around the base of the bottle just like so and I'm just cutting down. I have to you know attach the other end with this tape otherwise it just unravels it which I don't want. I just took like three strands uh, from that rope and I'm just taking uh, the base of the fruit mesh just like so with some dab of a hot glue now i'm taking this um, rope one strand of it attaching that all around the base of the bottle with the uh, hot loose in uh, you know in between and just you know circulating all around the bottle now i went to the other end of it now i'm going to repeat that same for uh, three of them and this is how it looks now it's time to give like the cotton twine on to the top of the bottle just like so and i'm going to attach uh, the other end with the hot glue now i'm going to you know distress this so i'm taking some of this antique wax and i mixed with a little bit of water and then i got this uh, thin mixture and i'm just brushing all over the fruit mesh to give like a distressed aged look there i'm also going on top of this cotton twine and also the cotton um, rope uh, to the base just like that and i'm going to let it dry once it is dried and i'm going to take some of these shells and i'm just covering uh, one in the base and I, I think i went with a couple of them on top as well and i call this is done so what do you think and let's move on to diy number four for this one i'm going to use another uh, juice bottle and i'm going to remove the you know tag and sticker all around it and after i cleaned it up and got ready so i'm just taking um, the same pastel blue paint and i'm generously covering all over the bottle just like that and i'm going to let it dry after it is dried i need to decorate with some of this uh, pebbles that i got from dollar tree and it's the same color and i'm going to take a generous amount of uh, hot glue and i'm just sticking around the base of the bottle just like that and i'm also going to you know, stick some of this uh, pebbles on the center of the bottle you're going to see and i just took some time off camera and i did that to the base now i'm going to do to the middle just like that and i'm taking like a generous amount of hot glue and I, of course i need my handy dandy finger protector after i stuck it and i let it dry i'm just taking the same uh, 
um, antique wax and I'm just distressing it all over it to give like nice aged look and after it's distressed I'm going to create a tassel out of this cotton twine and I'm going to circulate it around the base of the bot actually the mouth of the bottle and I'm going to attach it uh, with a dab of a hot glue and I took another piece of a cotton twine and I'm going to create a tassel out of this and I knotted it just like that now I'm going to also attach that with a dab of a hot glue to base of the one of the strand of the cotton twine I attached the shells just like that I just took one piece like that and I covered it to give like a cute tassel and this is done it is so gorgeous with those beautiful sea uh, you know themed uh, florals and this is my first bottle actually it's so gorgeous look how cute this whole beach themed you know flower vase or jar i don't know you can say anything <laughs> and i inserted some of this uh, sea uh, weed and uh, to finish the look yeah this is one of it you have to let me know what your thoughts are on this So this is my another one uh, with this distressed look and those pebbles and those shells and those florals it's so gorgeous it makes me feel like i should go to the beach right now <laughs> and i'm so happy how all these turned out and i hope you enjoyed so what do you think about all of these diys today i would love to hear from you and any suggestions that you want to give towards my channel i would appreciate that as well and uh, and if you have any suggestions towards my channel i would appreciate that and if you like videos like this i hope you would consider subscribing liking and sharing and if you're already subscribed i'm very grateful and thankful for your subscription and you all make me smile and happy and i'm very grateful for that thank you thank you so much like I always say, thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you again.